My obsession with tree conservation and my fascination with the wholesome beauty of trees began when I heard the story of my grandmother's granaries. My late grandmother lived in Ukambani region in eastern Kenya. This is an area commonly known for the famine causing prolonged droughts that are eminent there. However, there was a time in my grandmother's prime that the rain would fall constantly and the farmers there could plant their crops and they would grow with no need of improved seeds, fertilizers, irrigation, nothing. And as a result, my grandmother's granaries were always full. Unfortunately, not long after, the forest areas in the Kambani region began being deforested for cultivation and charcoal burning. With no trees to prevent it, soil erosion became a key factor in sweeping the fertile soil away. With no trees to facilitate the rainfall, there came periods of prolonged drought and famine. This story was very close to home for me, and it kindled a fire in me. It was clear that deforestation played a key role in what I like to call the, the tragedy of the once green Ukambani. It is easy to sit in our lush manicured lawns and expansive greenery and forget the tragedy that happens right outside our doors. <coughs> deforestation and the rapid decline of our natural ecosystem. According to United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, an estimated 18 million acres of forest cover are lost each year. Let me, let me illustrate this more clearly. The rate of deforestation equals the loss of 20 football fields every minute worldwide. My passion for conservation of trees led me to team up with Tracy, who shared this passion for a sustainable society, and we began a campaign. The campaign is dubbed Revive the Green. We, as Revive the Green, believe we are masters of our own future. That is why our campaign targets the youth. We, as the youth, should take the initiative to change the future course of our environment. I personally know that when I'm older, I wouldn't want to live in a concrete wasteland where our trees have become obsolete, where our oceans, lakes, and rivers have become polluted trash pools ridden with chemical waste, or where we have driven our animals out of their natural habitats in the name of development, recklessly poached them to extinction in the name of greed, and now we can only see them in the pages of a textbook. In the words of the former U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt, a nation that destroys its soils destroys itself. It is high time we woke up from our teenage dream and realized that if we don't do anything about the change of our environment, in future, we are the ones to deal with the consequences. We, as Revive the Green, have set three core objectives that we believe will help catalyze the change. And like any step towards change, it begins mentally. Our first objective is to raise awareness. Through the badges we are currently designing, we hope that when people see our logo, they see a symbol of change and, above all, a fight against deforestation. Our second objective is to hold cycle tree planting projects, where we'd go to an area, a target area, and we would plant tree seedlings, we would observe the progress, and in this way, add to the forest cover in Kenya. Our pilot program saw us in Naivasha, where last, early last year, we planted a total of 1,500 tree seedlings. Our official launch for the campaign, Revive the Green, will see us in Karua Forest, where this time around, we call upon you to join us. Go plant tree seedlings early next year. 
Our third objective is to incorporate conservation of trees into our daily lifestyles. Ask yourself this. Do you really need to print all those notes, or can you access them online? Where am I going with this? Ladies and gentlemen, we live in the digital age. Let us embrace the digital age. By doing so, we can reduce paper wastage significantly and lead sustainable lives. Our goal is to provide conservation techniques for the youth, by the youth. In the words of our Kenyan hero, Wangari Maathai, it is the little things citizens do. That's what make, will make the difference. My little thing is planting trees. We know the journey towards the conservation of Kenya's forest cover will take time. However, we are dedicated to do the most we can because we are committed to revive the green. Thank you.